This is one of the most easiest methods that I know how to make money online right now. So it's a brand new method that's really trending and you should get on this trend as soon as you can. So it's a website called remove.bg and it's actually an artificial uh, intelligence software and it's a free software. And basically what it does, it, it recognizes the main content of a photo and it can remove the background. So it can recognize what the main content is and then just remove anything else that's in the background. And if you go to websites like peopleperhour.com and just type in background removal in the search bar, people are charging like 10 to uh, 10, $35, $15 just to do the same exact service. So they'll send you a photo like this and ask them to remove, um, to remove, you, uh, remove the background and they'll you can charge them 10 to 25 dollars just for that small service and here's another website called fiverr.com so i've made videos on this before but i taught people how to use photoshop to remove the background but not a lot of people know how to use photoshop it's a bit complicated but this website isn't complicated at all and i'm going to show you how easy it is to do this so this is a website called uh, pixels.com with a bunch of copyright free images and i'm going to remove the background from this image right here so let's just copy the image address. So make sure you copy the image address and not the uh, 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 image itself. So you have to get the URL of the image. Then you go to um, this website and you can either upload an image from your computer or you can just enter an image URL right here. So I'm going to click on enter URL and just paste in the URL right here and click on OK. And that's all you have to do. It literally takes like five seconds and it just crops out that image. So this is I, I didn't believe this at the start that it will be this easy, but that it, it is actually that easy. So uh, let's say you uh, didn't actually crop out this image properly. You can just click on edit and you can click on erase and restore. So let's say it uh, didn't crop out parts of this image and you can maybe crop out like this bottom part of a shoe right here. Or let's say it cropped, um, you um, made a mistake and you want to get that back or it, um, it cropped out a part of the image that shouldn't be cropped out you can just click on restore and you can get it back right here so I can just paint over it and get that part back right there and all you do now is just click on download image click on download and that's it now you have the image and it actually downloads it as a PNG with the background removed so you might be thinking you know this that's actually a maybe a, like a simple image and it can easily recognize the content of this photo. So let me find like a more of a complicated image. So let's go back to pixels and let's go into something like, let me try this one here. So this one isn't that complicated, but it is. it doesn't really have like a person, so it can't really recognize like faces or something in this photo. So let's just try this one. So it doesn't doesn't uh, crop out everything properly. So you do have to have a photo that m shows like, you know, the main content of a photo and then the background. So it kind of like recognizes, oh, this is the main, main, main content, which is the person sitting down or the globe. And then that's the background and it just gets rid of that background. So now just let's set paste and click on OK. And let's see what it does to this image. So it's perfect now. So it removed it perfectly recognize what the um, main content of this photo is and it just removed the background and let's say you also wanted this book removed as well just click on edit and click on restore I mean click on re erase sorry and you can also increase the brush size right here and I can just get rid of that right here so you might have to do some tweaking but you know this this is far less work than what I used to do with this method so before I used to use Photoshop and I would have to um, you know put in an outline throughout the entire image that I want to crop and that would take at least like 15 uh, minutes per image and I would charge people like five to fifteen dollars per image depending on how, how complicated it is now this is so much easier and a lot of people are using this software right now just to do it like instantly within like five seconds and all and then all they have to do is just do do a bit of tweaking then they just go into fiverr.com and sell it for like ten dollars twenty dollars whatever it is so just go to fiverr.com and click on become a seller or go to peopleperhour.com and click on sign up and just sign up with your real name and your uh, uh, real last name and all that it won't be um, out to the public then just make sure you're on a freelancer account. So you're actually trying to sell people the service. So make sure you're on a freelancer account. Click on I agree and sign up. So that's all you have to do. So uh, yeah, on Fiverr.com, click on become a seller. 
and then just tell them what kind of things that you're selling, um, uh, how to publish. They tell you all about how to publish your gig and all of that. And the gig will look like this. It will just say, I will design, uh, I will remove background or de -re uh, do retouch for your product. So if you click on this guy's image, I mean this guy's profile, you probably see that this guy sells more than just one gig. So you should make multiple gigs. So he, he's got one a background remover, remover here. He's got one just for jewelries and another one for jewelries. Uh, he's got one for uh, people. He's got another one for jewelries. So this is what you have to do. You, you can't just make one gig and then just hope that it gets some sales. You have to make multiple gigs. Try out different keywords. So he said, I will do jewelry extra uh, ordinary touch. And then he's got another one called, I will do jewelry image retouch and editing. So put in those keywords like retouch and image editing, background removal, or uh, get really specific like I will crop out a blurry background or something like that. I will make a PNG image. So try out all the different keywords that people would search up on Fiverr.com. So the best way to find out what keywords people are searching up is just going, going to Fiverr.com and just searching like things like, I will just type in something like image. So under services, uh, the suggestion, uh, suggestions come up. So it says image editing, image retouching, image editing and retouching. And that is the exact keyword that he has right here, image retouch and editing. So it's not exactly, you know, retouching, it's just background removal, but he's put in image editing and retouching and he's put in, made multiple gigs with all of the di these different uh, keywords right here. So make as many gigs as you can with all the different keywords. So maybe try something like background removal and then hit space it says photo background removal background removal fast background removal super fast so these are the things that people are actually searching up on fiverr.com and just make as many gigs as you can with this, those keywords and then you will eventually get a sale on on at least one of those um, gigs and that's all you need so uh, if Fiverr doesn't really care, you know, if this one, if one has uh, more uh, reviews than the other. They just want the best keywords, uh, best services, and the best gigs with the most amount of reviews right at the top. So all you have to do is just make, start a brand new gig and just charge a cheaper price than the other one. So if this person's charging five dollars, you should charge. I mean, like, uh, I mean, like fifteen dollars, you, sh you should charge five dollars, and they're more likely to buy it from you. And then once they send you that image, all you have to do is just go to remove.bg and just find an image and just remove the um, background. And the same thing with peopleperhour.com as well. You should definitely make um, um, an account here because this website is starting to trend. And I've, I'm still testing out things with this website, but um, things are starting to trend on this website because people actually uh, charge more on this website for the same exact service. So it's the same exact service, takes up takes up about the same amount of time, uh, but people charge like you know, 10, 35, uh, $25 just to remove a background. So let's just keep trying out more. So you can just, you know, maybe try something like this. This is a complicated image. So uh, it doesn't actually crop out every single image. Sometimes it just says, you know, image not found or um, cannot crop image or something like that. It, for most images, it does it properly. But let's see for something like this. So it didn't do it properly for this one. So, you know, it's hard to tell what the main content of this photo is. So it, it thinks that it's the trees and it's the... Um, this hut right here. So what you can do is just click on edit, edit, um, and click on erase photo. So another thing I, I want to show you later on in this video as well is the blur effect. I'll show you after that. So you can just click on restore and just restore what you want back from this um, image. So this this is a bit more annoying, but you know it's still much better than you know using Photoshop or learning Photoshop just to remove a background, which will take like at least 15 minutes. So go out and try this and let me just show you another quick example just to know um, just to know how to blur out an image so this looks like a really complicated image it's got multiple a lot of different people so let's try this one so it's hard to tell like which image will actually do well and which image wouldn't do well so i think this is like an actual ai uh, software that's still like learning figuring out how to uh, you know figure out which uh, what's the main part of an image is and all that wow it's almost perfect so it did crop out this person right here but it's pretty much perfect so if you click on edit you can get that person back um, but here's another effect you can do so right let's say you want to actually not remove the background but just wanted to you just wanted to blur the background you can just click on blur right here it just blurs out the background and you can the, uh, there's different effects like different blurs 
this one so that's a bit too much so you can do this one so you have to get this person back so you can click on raise and uh, maybe restore and you can just get that person right back in here so I'm not sure why it didn't recognize this person so it doesn't look that great so maybe you can just put it back to where it was but and top of that you can also add some other random background as well so let me just crop it back to where it was and you can put in some other random background like them st standing in the city so these don't look that great but it's still another option for you to use so let me just try another example so this is kind of addictive because you can play around with this forever so maybe let's try something like this so this there's things all over the place you know there's um, the main content of this photo well the background of this photo is, is that table so let's say if it, uh, let's see if you can actually recognize this so I'm pretty sure it can't but let's just try it anyway so let's just go back to image remove dot bg so I'm just shocked and um, amazed at how easy this is so we can't find this one so I just wanted to find an image that I actually can't identify the background and the foreground and all that so there's just too many things in this image so for this something like this you would have to use like Photoshop or something like that and for this I'll leave a link to another video where I'll show you how to use Photoshop to remove a background so for that that's more for like complicated images and all that so go out and try this method this is a brand new method brand new software that's really working really well today so uh, you know make sure you jump on this trend and if you have any questions you can comment down below and comment down below if this uh, method actually worked for you I, I would love to hear from you but that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one